Well, the action has been absolutely relentless today. The rods are still out at the moment, but there's a little bit of a low in the action. So I wanted to take this opportunity to try and talk to you about the new product in the Baitworks range, which is the Screamer Powder. Now, the reason for this product coming into the Baitworks range is very, very simple. When I was developing the Cremino Boily some three, four years ago now, I had access to lots of powders, lots of liquids, extracts, you name it. Some of these just stood head and shoulders above the rest. Now, some of these powders found their way into the Cremino Boily, as you would expect, but I always knew that they could be isolated, blended, and brought out as a standalone powder, a concentrated powder. Now, in the current trend of adding lots of powders and liquids to your bait, and for very good reason, it catches loads of carp, this powder lends itself perfectly for that application and also for spod mixes, bag mixes, you name it as well. So it's a, a very versatile powder that can be used in a whole host of applications. So the Screamer powder is made up of dairy products, yeast extracts and a beautiful cream palatant that as soon as you open up the tub gives you a, a beautiful cream aroma that for me just absolutely screams carp. Now, one of the key components of this powder is when you add this to bait, and particularly when you're adding it to free bait, if you're adding a food liquid first or an oil, then you're coating with powder. What will happen is on contact with that liquid, this powder will form a crust, almost like a gel and encapsulate the bait. That's, that's very, very important. So when that bait goes out into the water, if you're spawning out or catapulting or whatever, it makes it down through the descent to the bottom of the lake. So it doesn't dissolve two foot into the water and then disperse and leave a cloud in the upper layers. Everything goes down to the bottom and then there'll be a slow release making a halo, if you like, a big cloud around your bait area. Loads of attraction, really, really important. Well, it has been thick and fast today. I think this is fish number 10 can't keep a rod in the water and as fast as I'm making up the bait and putting the powders on the rod's ripping off so uh, yeah what a lovely day and that's how I've been using the product today last night I coated up some of the the free baits with uh, the dip and the oil added generous amounts of the powder and that clings to the bait and then started to form that crust or that gel if you like and leaving it overnight gives it a chance just to harden up a little bit more as well so for the application of boilers, if you take say a kilo, I'd be adding 50 ml of oil and 50 ml of a food-based dip. I'd be putting it into a bag or put it on into a bucket, giving that a good shake round, make sure everything's nice and coated. And then you can start adding the screamer powder. And I would order, just add just enough just to coat everything. And that's when you'll get that nice crust sort of forming around the bait. Now you can build up as many layers as you want with this. Um, it's no synthetic products in there, so you can overload it. Um, but by more adding more powders, uh, keep adding the liquids, then the powder, liquid, then powder, you can build up these layers to make an ultra, ultra attractive bait, essentially, that's importantly gonna get down to the bottom of the lake when it descends through the water. And that's really, really important. So the screamer powder didn't actually need a whole lot of testing. That was already done way back when we uh, developed the Cremino boily. So I knew that these powders would be standalone and be ultra attractive. But you know, like anything, it's good to give it a road test and get out on the bank with it as well for that final application. And we're doing that this winter. I've um, been fishing a multitude of lakes and had some fantastic results coating the baits as I've talked about. And uh, the bites have come from a whole plethora of different waters. And today, crikey, we've had absolutely loads and loads today. So. Very versatile product. It's going to strike a chord with a lot of those guys who love their creamier type baits, um, but an absolute standout, I think, from the Baitworks range and one that's going to catch you plenty of carp.